You're watching WECT News at 6. $500,000 in grant money is on the way to help a tiny home community. The State Employees Credit Union granting the money to Eden Village, which houses the chronically homeless. That money will go toward building a community center in the village, but there are some questions tonight about why half of those tiny homes are still empty. WECT's Raina Crooms talked to residents and officials at the village today. And Raina, you're hearing only 16 of the homes are being used right now. That's right, John. Given there are hundreds of homeless people in Wilmington, that may seem concerning, but I'm told it's all part of the plan. I feel like that half of, I've got half of my life back. Being fortunate is one, being blessed is another, and uh, really it's a, new, it's, it's a new chapter in my life. Terry Mangum and Richard DeReef say they couldn't be happier to live at Eden Village. A tiny home community, Wilmington aimed at providing the chronically homeless a place to live. However, they are only two of 16 residents in the community of 31 homes. With the city's ongoing homelessness issues, some are asking why the community isn't filled. Executive Director Sean Hayes says it's not as simple as handing over the keys to a new home. Getting a person in a home is a, is a process within itself. Um, you just don't want to take a person and throw them in a home and tell them to now live. You know, you, you just, you go in and you, you get them acclimated to the community. And if I bought 31 individuals in here, all at one time, then it would be kind of chaotic um, for those individuals. Hayes says they choose to move two to three people in per week to ensure each person can become well acclimated and feel a sense of community. There are also residency restrictions in place. People must have lived on the streets of Wilmington for at least a year. They must be single with no children and rely on disability checks from the state. It's all an effort to provide a safe space for people to hopefully begin a new life. And for those who call Eden Village home now, the wait was well worth it. With most of the people that are here, somewhere along the line on the streets, we have met or paths have crossed, and we've remained friends through all those years. And again, through the grace of God, here we are today. Right now, 200 people are on the wait list to live in the village, but the remaining 15 homes already have been assigned to other people in the area. The village operates off a scoring system to fairly decide who will be able to move in. And people who already live in the village say it's really a community. Rena Crooms, WECT News.